So, in this video I'm going to show what I'm using for uh, scanning a Mercedes-Benz. The best cheap way to scan your Mercedes-Benz. All I use is a laptop. I already had this. But you can buy one for 50 bucks. A used one. You don't need a really nice or really new laptop this one is uh, 10 years old but is doing the job perfectly you can use even an older one the specs of these laptops are just uh, normal nothing crazy is 8 gigabyte of ram and the uh, e5 processor and as a cable i'm using this cloned one this is a cloned open port this is from china but is doing the job and the other side is just a usb port and for the programs all i use is a uh, is Zentri for mercedes and if you have an older car you can use vediamo this one here and for uh, new cars is the DTS Monaco, the one that I'm using for my car. My car is a uh, 2018 Mercedes E-Class and Monaco is uh, the one that uh, can open all the modules of this car. So let me connect the cables and I'm going to show you in program how they work so this is the open port cable that we are using well, let's open Zentry and do a quick test so for personal use this is what you are going to need so you don't need something crazy expensive you want to just to check the error codes of your cars of your car if you have some problems and you can do some codings with Vediamo or uh, DTS Monaco in my case in newer cars then you have to select the model car you can put your V number here if you want but I'm going to select mine this way so my is a is a wagon and continue the diagnostic application is being started this is not a video on how is the entry used it's working but this is a quick video to to show you what you can do with uh, this uh, chip cable okay so here we are going to select start a quick test All the control units now are being checked. And here we have 45 control units in this case. Different cars can have more control units maybe it will take a little bit longer 
some cars maybe have less unit so and you can see all the errors that you have so I know I have a, a sensor on my tire that is broken so with a big F this means it's a big uh, problem failure in Deutsch ein Fehler ein problem and those with the little one they are just okay so you don't have to worry about so that was the only problem in, in my car the other are just like problems that happen just one one uh, time and then they are disappeared you can re uh, delete those here you can see the problem and you can check with uh, Zendri everything and how to repair the, those problems it will show you in uh, in which time did this problem happen and every other uh, infos so as you can see with this chip uh, OBD adapter with this fake open port you can scan and you can do everything let's clear out memories erased so we are good to leave this page and I'm going to show you that uh, we can use DTS Monaco with this setup too for example here there are all the control units on this car let's uh, open the head unit control unit the infotainment system is uh, HU 55 entry in my case 5.5 to be precise and this is the diagnostic that I'm using You can do variant coding, you, you can do quick test and everything here. So select the unit and you can see that now the head unit, the infotainment system is in diagnostic mode and you can change everything here. So again, this is not a video on how to use, on how it's DTS Monaco working, but just to show you that uh, with this cable, you can, uh, you can change settings in your car. So for a private use this is more than enough that's it for this video in another video maybe i'm going to do a video how it's dts monaco or uh, zentri working for vediamo i don't have a lot of information but uh, you can find a lot of uh, manuals so a lot of pdf uh, files that show you how to use vediamo or how to use uh, dts monaco you can find them easily online on in those car forums so thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and enjoy your day, bye.